Ready? Yeah. Hey guys, this is the making up for clock blockers. In this video, we're gonna show you guys how we came up with the idea, how we planned it out, and how we shot it and did all the crazy effects. Pretty much everything. So, to start things off, how did we come up with the idea for clock blockers? Oh yeah, we wanted to make a gunfight, but we didn't want it to be just a boring gunfight, so we decided to come up with a twist. And the twist was we had clones that were made out of time. Time clones. Fabricated from the very essence of time itself. What if it was a time travel gunfight? where people could travel back in time and like and correct the mistakes that they made in the action scene. So uh, everyone would have a chance to do it right and do it way cooler. Yeah, yeah. And so then um, we were driving to do our western shoot in the uh, desert and Nico uh, suddenly proclaimed in the middle of driving, we should call it c blockers. <laughs> we should call it clock blockers. So for the clone shots there were two basic ways that we did them. One was pretty much we would shoot our master plate. To add the other guys, what we did is we shot them handheld with a camera as still as possible, and then we would stabilize that footage later. You can use a tripod, by the way. You can use a tripod instead, it's much easier. But regardless, <laughs> you take your footage shot on a tripod or your stabilized footage, and just put that onto your motion track shot. That was the most common effect. And then we had a couple shots that were a little bit crazier where we actually had like a significantly moving camera as well as people that were moving. Mm -hmm. And for that, we actually would film each person handheld, keeping them in frame. We did a Buju nodal pan track for each camera, took those cameras into the 3DS Max, projected the camera map onto the inside of a sphere for each camera, put in the master camera, and did a rendering of the projection maps from the other cameras with the master camera, brought that into After Effects, masked it out, and then we had a final shot. Wow. And as you can see there, there's a whole tutorial that needs to be included with that for it to make any sense at all. Sam. Hey. How did we do that tire shot? That was pretty cool. How did we get two people interacting with one object like How that? did we do that? Well, what we did for the tire shot is we basically filmed me running into the shot. So then we painted out Jake in the master shot and got another clip of Sam in a blue shirt pretending to push the tire. There wasn't actually any tire there and stuck him into that shot. So it looks like blue shirt Sam actually pushes the tire. It's a kind of a complicated shot and unfortunately it's kind of one of the most messy ones we did. But it's cool and you guys liked it, so it paid off, right? Yep. Because of the complexities of shooting a scene with 10 people in it, um, not to mention 10 people who have actions constantly repeated and changed and interacted and interfered with over time, we had to build a small timeline showing all the characters, what they do, when they do it. Basically, I had to line up all the people and uh, make sure that all their actions were not only consistent, but lined up with each other in time so that we didn't have any uh, paradoxes, so to speak. Now, a lot of people also asked, did you guys have your clones shoot the video? No, actually, they didn't shoot the video. It was Arthur Toe and, and Nick Laurent. Both of those guys helped us shoot the Minecraft short we put up this February, and um, they both shot another video with us again. Annotation. So, I hope you guys learned everything you wanted to learn, and if you didn't, Hit us up on Twitter or Facebook because we answered all our messages, or at least try best. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Keep having fun on the internet. Yep, keep surfing. <laughs> Surf's up, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are wondering why we're really tired? It's because we've been in the desert for three days. Yeah. And then we had to finish this video.